Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And wouldn't you know, we're back at it again. We've got We've got a new set fresh out and that is Streets of New Capenna. And look at that land. That is a nice land. Obviously there's a load of good stuff that we're looking to crack in this with the big, big dog being that bootleggers stash. We've got an alternate art botanical plaza there and a maestro's ascendancy for the rare enchantment. There we go. And the first foil is Snooping Newsy. And there we go. As is a more common occurrence now, we are going for those set booster boxes because they offer so much more, including a slightly revamped list, which we will talk about in a minute. But we'll go on to this second pack and hopefully get some really cool rare. We've got a Cabaretti Charm. Charms are back, in my opinion. They're not great. But I do love this art style, very cool. We've got quite a few of them now. Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. And the rare is a mysterious limousine. And another vehicle, another vehicle with crew two. Syndicate Infiltrator Foil. And we've got we've got our first list. We've got our first list, and I guess we'll talk about it now. Arvanox the Mind Flail, which is a revamped MTG card from the Secret Layer Stranger Things set. There we go. Secret and get its own pile. And as always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all things MTG. But as I was saying, yeah, the uh, the the list has a revamped. Normally it's around about 300 list cards for the set booster boxes, but now it's just 67. And nine of them are the Stranger Things revamped MTG art versions, as we have Mr. Orfeo there. And then that leaves, I think if my maths is good, uh, 58. 58 random list cards, but there are some really good ones there. For the rare, we've got Riveter's Ascendancy and Riveter's Overlook. Nice. So there are less list cards, but there is some still good list spots in there. We've still got like Sensei's Divining Top, Vampiric Tutor, there's a Zakama in there. And again, yeah, I feel like every magic set now is doing some, some sort of cool art. And I am a big fan, I really like the extended arts. I think they just fit so nicely into any sort of commander deck, especially. It makes them feel a little bit more special. We've got another charm there. And the rare in this, still no mythic, is an undercover operative, shapeshifter rogue. Really cool, and I really like the mechanic that comes with this as well, shield counters. Big fan of those shield counters. Revel Ruiner, and some, uh, some shield counters. Don't you love it when things come together? I didn't realise inside the box, uh, this came with it as well. I, I didn't realise, obviously we've got the, uh, the Biobox, Biobox promo, which is really cool. Love the art on that. Jax is the troublemaker, but we've also got, we've also got this as well. But yes, we have plenty of big hitters to hopefully get in there. Another one, I mean, it'll, again, I'm gonna be having the prices in the bottom corner now. They are pre-release prices, bear in mind. So if you are watching after release, probably probably not still holding up. But we've got we've got big cards like Obnixilis. That would be another really, really good one to have with that casualty mechanic. Master Bandits. Sparrow's Headquarters. There we go. The first Triome. First Triome. That is some tasty, tasty stuff. We've got others like Jetmere's Garden, Xander's Lounge, and two others that I cannot think of. But... That's good, get a try nice and early. Because it's a big hitter, I'm counting it as a mythic. And yeah, what's the other? There's the Zeatora, that's another one of the another one of the, the gangster families. Uh, something, something tower. Raf, Raffine's tower? Raffine's tower, I don't know. It's it's hard to remember all the names. We've got a foil mountain there. That is cool. Also, what we need to do, I want you to flood the comments down below and say congrats to me, Master Steve, and his lovely wife, Abby, who have just welcomed their first child. So yes, we've got me, Master, me, Master Junior. Me, Master Junior, what a name. Tenuous Truce, Enchantment Aura, to enchant an opponent, the beginning of Enchanted Opponent's End Step. You and that player each draw a card. That is some spicy stuff. And remember, the rares here can be from the uh, Commander, Commander Precons as well, which this is. So that's good. Oh, oh, and speaking of uh, speaking of Streets of Nuka Penna pre, well not pre-cons, this is just a deadly commander. This is this is dirty. I know a lot of people don't like it. I think I'll hate it if it's used against me, but I kind of like it. It's cool. 
it's it's devilish it's disgusting yeah so from from everything that i've said the set booster just offers so much more so much more you've got the list you've got the commander precon cards you can get you can get you know more chance of getting full arts and or borderless whatever you want to call them but yeah yeah so that is why i don't think i'll be getting draft uh, draft booster boxes anymore they're not quite for me we've got evelyn the covetous that's nice vampire rogue flash that's that's what i like about this set too obviously they're bringing back a lot you know there's five five families all three colors there's going to be a lot more new commanders new cool different things oh oh that's good that is nice we've got urabrask the hidden one of the praetors that is really cool i like that legendary praetor there is i think a new urabrask in this set but this is the classic one that is uh that is some stuff that you love to see and speaking of stuff that you love to see and if you'd love to see even more of this opening then i'll set a I don't do it that often, but I'll set a like tag of 100 likes. If we hit 100 likes, then I'll buy a collector's booster. Collector's booster. No, no draft booster, but I will. Uh, I will splash out on a collector's booster because I kind of think this uh, could could be worth it in this set. Like I said, with with things like the triomes and all the all the powerful cards we've got, and this is incandescent aria. Deals three damage to each non-token creature. So Naya goodness there and Riveteer's charm in the foil slot yeah so speaking of Lord Xander and valuable cards there's other valuable cards like Luxior which is really cool counter counter living cards and uh, Halo Fountain Halo Fountain is dirty you've got that tap 15 tap 15 is it tap 15 creatures it's tap 15 something for the for the win con which is uh, which is dirty dirty especially white a lot you know Big, big token loving colour. That could very easily be done. Crew Captain, Avon Heartstabber, Bird Assassin with Flying. That can get plus two, plus two, and Death Touch. And Foil, Foil Mythic. Oh, Arcane Bombardment. Whenever you cast your first instant sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard. Oh, make cast any number of copies without paying their mana cost. That is spicy. And we've got another list. No list, and it is another secret layer. Friends forever. Safina, Spear Sage, Deserter, Menace, and it investigates. Cool, cool, cool. It's been a hot minute since I've watched uh, Stranger Things, so I don't know what what character that's meant to be. Maybe Max. Maybe Max. I'm not sure. I know it's not. I know it's not Eleven because that's the one where it's all about the number Eleven. Okay, let's move on. And this is, was that the last card in the first third? Yes, and it's been a good first third so far. These charms are common. Frozen Upstart, and for the rare, we've got the Human Rogue, Defender and Haste, Errant Street Artist. You can pay one and blue, tap, copy target spell, you control that wasn't cast. You may choose new targets for the copy. Ooh, I like me some defenders. That's, uh, that's interesting. Foil run out of town and some junk. Let's put the secret layer over there and the rare there and we'll move on. So yeah, uh, I want to know as well, I'm always really interested to know when these new sets come out, what do you think of the new set? What do you think of the new mechanics? Like I said, we've talked about shield counters, got connive, alliance, casualty. This, there's a lot of new mechanics, obviously, because we've got five different families and each one of them has their own sort of theme, their own sort of speciality mechanic. Got corpse explosion here, Rakdos sorcery, deal some damage. And the foil is a halo scarab, and we've got more junk. So yeah, are you a fan from what you've seen so far? Do you like the mechanics? Do you like the cards? Do you like the art? We be playing it on uh, MTG Arena. That is a million questions. So five bonus points if you actually answer all of them, as there are a lot. Sorry, uh, we've got. Uh, we've got a mythic here, even the score, costs three blue less if an opponent's drawn four or more cards this turn to draw X cards. That is a really cool card and one that I think will get a lot of play. Drawing cards, especially in Commander, is the thing to do. And from War of the Spark, we've got another list card. This time it's Tamio, Collector of Tales, with the ult minus three return target card from Graveyard to your hand. Spicy. Not really sure what I'm doing with the pars now. That can go the mythics. That can go with the rares, although I was making a, maybe that's just a secret lair. 
secret lair pile. Don't really know with this being, um, with this now coming out and there being, you know, semi sort of reprints, what the value of them will be, if they'll be worth a lot, if it will drive down the price of secret lair, um, the, the Stranger Things, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we've got the, uh, the I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, the golden, golden art, I don't, I don't know. Something to do with the, the border being gold, I don't know. But it's Rego Streetwise Mentor, and it's with a shield counter on it, and you can draw some cards. It's a double rare pack. It's Gala Greeters that we have in the uh, different, different art there. Is it gonna be three rares? It is not. Security Bypass and not a list. Yeah, I said it before and I'll say it again. Those, those full arts, they are so spicy. Obviously with uh, the last set, last set we had uh, the Japanese style arts, which again, really popular. I think even going back to maybe Theros with those special sort of lands, they're, they're really popular. People want, you know, matching lands, things to look really cool. So I think we've got, we've got both Rockos. Yeah, um, I think, I don't know, maybe they're just making them in every set because there is there is value in them. I don't know, but I'm a fan. Horde, Horlia, Trample and Crew 3. Create a treasure token as well. Brazen Upstart Foil and Demon's Jew. Now, we are maybe just about halfway through, nearly halfway through. And the question remains, where is, where is my bootleggers stash. I would very much like a copy, especially maybe even in foil. We've got Broker's Ascendancy at the beginning of your end step. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and a Lord's counter on each Planeswalk you control. Ooh, maybe Animar likes this. Okay, we've got from Rivals of Ixlan, Mythic Twilight Prophet. Is that worth some good money? I think it is. I think it is. I could be very wrong. I'm never afraid to admit when I'm wrong, but that could be worth some money. I feel like the list has treated me very, very well so far. And uh, at some point I need to guess what the uh, what the pack of the whole box will be, of which I have a fantastic record. It's only like a one in, what is it, one in 30 chance, but my record is, is great and I wasn't gonna guess this one, but it might be the next one. Uh, unleash the Inferno there, instant deal seven damage to target creature or player. Here we go, we've got a Citizen's Crowbar and another token. I don't know why, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the unblockable fish token. Uh, this, let's just say now, this is going to be the pack of the entire entire booster box. There's going to be a, a foil bootlegger stash. There's going to be a list card. Oh, it's going to be super spicy. Um, yeah, I just know it. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Park Heights Pegasus Flying Trample. Never mind. Okay, Foil, Capenna Express, and the Maestro's Crime is an art form. That's really cool. That's, I like that. That is cool. Okay, put the rare there. It did also come with this. I'm not gonna leave it on too long, but yeah, pause it if you wanna read about the families, the draft archetypes. Yeah, what family will you be? What family will you be? I don't know what the, the Nile one is, I think it's the Cab Cabaretti. I'll, I'll pick that one just because I like Nile. I like making eggs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I am a big fan of Nile. Oh, if I'd have waited one more pack, one pack later, we've got Obnixilis, the adversary in Borderless. Oh my God. I think normal Obnixilis, again, it will go down. I think normal Obnixilis is about $30. So this, oh, it's gotta be at least 32. That is so good. The alt being target player draws seven cards and loses seven life. That is so good. And it's a double rare pack. This really is the pack of the box, isn't it? Oh, I was so close. Zeotora's Envoy Vyoshino Warrior that you can blitz. Oh, it's a, if there's a list card here, then that's just, I've never had a four rare pack. That'd be so good. Mysterious Limousine, Foil Crew 2. Oh, <laughs> oh I really hyped myself up, but that, what a pack. Wow, wow, wow. Borderless Mythic. Let's just neaten these up. Getting a bit out of hand. Okay, two more in this second, in, this, in the second third of the, uh, of the pack. 
pack blocks. Let's get a little bit closer and run through this. This has been a hell of a box so far. Master Bandits. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what to say. That is that is ridiculous. Back to back of Nixlesses. Of Nixalai? Oh, wow. And it's... Oh, that is... I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Foil light them up and strictly better. To get two back to back of Nixlesses is just dumb. That is dumb. Oh, wow. I'm speechless. I think I might get a spirit at the back of this pack because I've opened it up the wrong way. Maybe, maybe now will be the time for bootlegger stash, although I don't think I'll get three packs in a row. I thought it was green. It was an artifact. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Um, yeah, boxing ring, create a treasure token. That is cool. And f wow, the, the pack is really spicing up now, isn't it? See, so we have boxing ring from the uh, commander precon. Now we've got Reservoir Kraken. We've got a foil races ring, which looks looks really nice. It looks really nice. And then a spirit. Ten packs to go, and I already feel full. I feel full of cards. I don't know if I could fit any more. Actually, you know what? I could fit in. I could fit in a, a few more triomes. I'd, I'd gladly, I'd gladly take a few more triomes because they they are a, they are cards that are just going to go up in value. Like they will. They they just will. We've got Evelyn the Covetous again. Again, I think we've had this already. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. And a foil warm welcome and another token. Yeah, give me, give me Jetmere's Garden. That, that'll be my, uh, I'll be happy with a Jetmere's Garden in this pack. Oh, nearly knocked over my tripod, which for some reason is not, I don't know, it's just a pretty weak tripod. One little tap and it could go could go flying. We've got a mythic and it's Perry the Pulverizer. Rhino Soldier again from the uh, from the Commander Precon. When ETBs put a shield counter on target creature. And uh, yeah, does some trampley action and uh, more well, damage depending on counters. And it's a double rare pack, Tenacious Underdog. I think if there's a com Commander Precon, then you get another rare, I'm not sure. Tenacious Underdog with Blitz. And we've got three. Three rares, Cabaretti Ascendancy in foil. That's really cool art. Like I said, maybe I am part of the Cabaretti. Oh, it's a, it's a four rare pack. It's a four rare pack. I've, that's wicked. That's so cool. I've never done four. That is cool. Uh, got Sicily Haunted Mage. Maximum hand size is 11. Wonder, like I said, which which character from, uh, from Stranger Things this was. Uh, yeah. Really cool, Friends Forever, it can now partner with Safina. Again, all the prices are based on pre-release, so the prices won't hold up, but this is definitely shaping up to be one of the best boxes I've I've ever opened. It's actually uh it's actually been mad. It's been really, really cool. Okay, this is a this is a land pack. Remember with set boosters, they are sort of themed. You get lots of similar, lots of similar colours. They're really helpful to make decks and we've got Ognis the Dragon's Lash, a really, probably one of my favourite commanders from, well commander options from this set, haste, and when a creature control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token, that is one to watch out for, I think it will be quite popular, Broker's Initiate and a cat, yeah Ognis, Ognis watch out for, I don't, it won't become a card in my opinion that will get up there in terms of like monetary value but I think it will become a very popular very popular commander for people to use because it is fun and who doesn't love treasures we've got fight rigging the enchantment with hideaway five returning mechanic and we've got a foil at skybridge towers there we go okay I don't know how many are left maybe like six five six yeah Put them back because that doesn't look very visually nice. Yeah, what will we get here? I feel like we've got to get one more triome. They're all rares, so th there's more there's more odds of getting more triomes than really of Nixlesses, but we have been we have been proved wrong on that. We've got another foil, not foil, we've got another mythic rather, with Rafine Scheming Seer flying ward one and it knives. What a conniving little creature. Take me to the streets and the Obscura again. 
yeah, this box has been crazy. There's, I can see there, there is a dirty amount of Mythics. It's, uh, yeah, I think normally, as I always say, you're looking probably about four, four, maybe five, maybe six if you get really lucky. But I think we've got more than that in this box. Hostile Takeover Sorcery and Witty Roastmaster and another mini game. I say it every set booster box. So if you're playing set booster box, gathering the magic bingo at home, I'm still yet to play one of those magic mini games. I don't think I ever will. I've, I read through all of them and they just don't, they don't sound fun. They just don't sound fun. We've got Henzy Toolbox <laughs> Tour. I like that it's got a, it's got a nickname uh, with a bit of blitz and the blitz costs one less for each time you cash a commander from the command zone this game. This being from one of the commander precons. Maestro's Ascendancy Enchantment. Nice stuff there. And we've got a triple rare, that's a list as well, isn't it? We've got a triple rare pack, Broker's Ascendancy with those counters, and Chrome Cat. It's not It's not a list, it's not a list, it's just a, It's just the foil. We just randomly had two rares as well as the uh, Precon rare. Oh, I do want to get this video up the day that I open it, which is today, Friday, the, what is it, 21st? I think it's the 21st. Um, Oh God, it might take so long to edit putting all these prices on. It might have to be a might have to be a Saturday jobby. But we shall we shall see. Will we get any more any more mythics? Will we get any more lists? We shall see. We've got Mysterious Limousine again for the third time now. Foil Nimble Lasis, that's really nice foil. That is really nice. And the token is a citizen. Okay, we've got two packs left, two more chances to get bootlegged stash, two more chances to get those triomes, or maybe even, like I said, Halo Fountain. But we've had so many good packs already. I feel like our luck has, has run out here, but I don't mind. I'm happy with it. I'm content. We've got Ledger, Shredder, Bird Advisor with Flying. Whenever a player casts a second spell at each turn, it connives. Foil Expendable Lackey, and the token here is a Doggo. Doggo token, one of the possible tokens from Ginny Bay. The other being a 2-1 Hasty Cat. 2 -one hasty cat. And we've got the Foil Gold Etched signature print there for the art cards. Again, I like the art cards. Never have any, any use for them, but they are, they are nice. I appreciate them. I appreciate them. And to finish off, we've got Rego Streetwise Mentor Cat Citizen ETBs with a shield counter on it. Yeah, get some tasty card draw as well. So many commander options for this set. Disciplined Duelist Foil. Are we going to finish with the list? We're not. Oh, wait, yeah, I saw this when I opened the pack. We here got more shield tokens. Right, let's finish up with a quick review. We're not going to. We're not going to spend ages going through them but we'll just we'll flick through the mythics we'll flick through the or oh, or oh, we'll flick through the uh the secret layer cards we got and then the rares will we'll just we'll just leave them oh brask oh what a throwback already just looking through this looking through this and then millions millions of rares all the rares all the rares wow what a box there we have it that is the streets of new capenna set a booster box opening Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description below for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.